done. I thought I would start a new vlog today and just film what I get up to over this weekend. I'm currently just about to start braiding my hair. I haven't worn my hair in braids in so, so long, but the reason I want to braid it and get my hair off of my face is because this morning I'm going to a self-defense class. But basically, Brayden does jujitsu, and the place that he does it is offering a free women's self-defense class, and so he's like, Ella, you've gotta do it. And so he's convinced me, and I'm going with my friend Jess. You guys will have seen her in my vlogs. She's the girl who I train with on Tuesdays. She's actually a PT, so I train at her gym, and I feel like she's gonna be Get really good at this because she's just so fit and her boyfriend also does jujitsu so our boyfriends actually do jujitsu together so they're like girls you've got to do it so you know here I am braiding my hair away I'm a little bit nervous not gonna lie because I honestly feel like sometimes I am a little bit of a princess and I just don't want to get hurt which is fair enough right but I think the fact that this kind of thing makes me nervous gives me more reason to do it because Honestly, I don't know anything when it comes to self-defense and it obviously is a really good thing for women to know how to do, well, for everyone to know how to do. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Hopefully I can vlog when we're in there, but it's gonna be fun, a bit different, but fun. All right, so we are here. We just had a really nice lunch at Heart and Soul. We did. And literally stuffed we're our very faces. Full. <laughs> we're very full and now full we're nervous. Be, yeah, we're full <laughs> and nervous. So we're kind of like, oh, it's not a good combination being full and nervous oh, because- I, It'll settle. Yeah. It'll settle. Settle. Overall, we just feel a bit <laughs> sick. <laughs> but Seriously. we're excited. We've just arrived and we're going to be partnered together, so that's okay. That makes me feel so much more relaxed. <laughs> oh, it'll be fun. Okay, we'll bring you guys Funny. along. enjoyed that little montage of Jess and I practicing some self-defense. If you guys are wondering where we actually did that, we did it at Gracie Barra in Caring Bar. That's where our boyfriends do jiu-jitsu and it was so much fun. We were like giggling the whole time because obviously it was our first time doing anything like that and we were just like getting used to it. Everyone was so friendly and it was definitely very empowering. I'm not really used to doing stuff like that and it was definitely out of my comfort zone but I think that's all the more reason to do it so I'm really glad that I did that and I really hope that inspired you guys to maybe do something similar or try out a martial art just because I think it is really important for us all to know a little bit of self-defense especially females and yeah it really inspired me so I might go back and do some more classes I know Jess really loved it so you never know I'm glad I tried it I feel like I'm having a very social weekend because I'm actually going out again tonight I'm going to my friend Steph's house we're going to be having dinner I think we're cooking Mexican food and then I'm going out with some friends again tomorrow so I feel like I'm not gonna have too much time to myself this weekend which is totally fine I love being social and seeing my friends but I also do need to make sure I take that time for myself to recharge my batteries because otherwise I burn out so I think I'm gonna spend an hour just doing some self-care and just chill out and I'm gonna do my new favorite form of self-care so I'm gonna use the Peppy Co LED face mask. This is what it looks like. It is honestly so cool. I've had facials before and they've used LED lights on my skin and it's been amazing. So it's really cool that I can now do this from home and I've been using it consistently for a few weeks now and I have noticed a difference in my skin, especially with the pigmentation. So there are three different light settings. There's yellow, which is perfect for sensitive skin and it's really good for pigmentation and just healing the skin. And then there is red and that really helps with rejuvenating your skin and producing more collagen. And then finally, there is a blue light setting which targets acne bacteria that lives on your skin. So the combination of all three settings is amazing. I also really love the Peppy Co All-in-One Sleeping Mask. I'm obviously not gonna use this now because I'm not going to bed, but I've been using this 
for months and I really love it. Whenever I pop this on at night and leave it on, I wake up and my skin is so soft and honestly glowing. So this is made with natural ingredients and I just, I just really, really like this. And you can get both of these together in the starter set, but you can also purchase them separate. So I'll link the products down below. I really, really recommend them if you're wanting to get some good products for your skin. <laughs> needed that little half an hour just to relax and do nothing it honestly makes the world of difference but now I'm just about to pop up to the shops and go to the grocery store and get a couple of things for dinner tonight I can't decide if I want to drink tonight or not because uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be too good for my stomach but at the same time I don't want to miss out I don't know but yeah I'm just gonna go and get some things like avocado and just stuff to put on our tacos I've just got to the shops and I just want to say I cannot stand when people are impatient drivers and they beep at you to go when it's not necessarily safe to go because that just happened and I pulled up to some traffic lights and I was indicating right and the light turned green but there were still people traveling in the opposite direction so if I went I would have been hit by a car and then the guy behind me beeped at me and was waving his hands in the air like very accusing and I'm like thank god I didn't go because if I did turn right I would have been hit by a car but some people probably would feel quite pressured by someone beeping at them and then they would go and then there would be an accident so I just wanted to say that and remind you guys to not feel pressured when people beep at you when it's not necessarily safe to go that just really annoyed me I'm like sure you might be in a rush but that was not safe and the fact that he kept waving his hands in the air I was like oh my god anyway I'm not usually one to complain but I just thought that was really annoying everyone I don't even know what footage I got from last night but we had a really fun time we played twister we had Mexican food we danced what else did we do oh we played with the bunny rabbit and oh my gosh Steph's bunny rabbit is the tiniest little thing and yeah we had a fun night didn't drink too much so we're waking up feeling quite fresh which is nice mm -hmm. I stayed over at Brayden's house and now we're about to head out for some breakfast because you know why not yeah it's like a Sunday thing it's like our Sunday thing at the moment and like what do you guys think of my hair by the way because I took it out of the braids but I think because it's a bit oily it hasn't gone really curly so it kind of just looks like a half assed attempt of having curly hair so that's the plan for this morning we're gonna get some breakfast I was actually going to be meeting up with some friends this morning but those plans fell through so you know Brayden is second best we're just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, we're gonna go get food and then this afternoon I have a call with YouTube It's called like the creator camp and that goes from like midday till 5 p.m So I'm just gonna be glued to my laptop. So it'll be nice to get out this morning Filling out my cup coffee talk on the screen porch So in love now you're the one I'm losing sleep for and I hope the wrong one slip right through your magic finger Breakfast was really nice. We went to this cafe in Engadine. I forget what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. And now we've just come to Kmart because I want to get some photo frames for a gallery wall that I'm doing for my family in the lounge room. And I also want to get a new journal because I've actually run out and I feel like, I don't know, I've been feeling the effects of not journaling. It made me realize how much I actually rely on it. So 
yeah, I mean, I love a good Kmart trip. It just gives me the excuse, honestly, and I'll probably end up getting more stuff, but we'll see. There are literally so many to choose from. I saw this one, which I thought was really cool. It's a dream journal. And then it's got this section where you write down your dream, your emotions, and then like you can tick if you've dreamed of the dream before and your interpretation and sketches. I don't know, at the same time, I can just do it in a plain journal. So I think I'll just get a plain one. I'm also gonna get one of these just dotted journals because I really wanna get into bullet journaling. So I'm gonna get one of these. Murphy, I bought you a present. Look, it's a banana costume. What is that? Should we put this on you? <laughs> Luna, what do you think? Oh, Papa. <laughs> oh, she looks really pleased with herself. She's smiling. You can see me. I wanted to be the banana all along. <laughs> yeah, I think she wanted to be the banana because she wasn't happy that Murphy was wearing it. The dogs were so cute in that banana costume, but I know that they're probably never gonna wear it again. But it was funny while it lasted, but I just wanted to share with you the other journal that I got, because I told you I got the bullet one, but I also just picked up this plain one. I love getting my journals from Kmart because they're so cheap. And like I said, before I went in, I knew I was gonna come out with something else, which happened to be the banana costume. But I think I'm gonna spend some time now actually doing some journaling and just planning for the week, because it is Sunday, and I'm just gonna do it in this one instead of this one, because it'll take a bit more time because I've only got an hour before I jump on my call with YouTube. I actually got the time wrong and I thought that the call was starting now but it's not for another hour so I'm going to spend some time organizing myself in advance. <laughs> As you can see, I'm off the call now. I've had a shower, washed my hair, and got into some comfy clothes, which feels so, so good. And we just had a food delivery arrive, and so I just like put all that away. As you guys probably saw, we had so many bags of food because since I'm back with my family, there's six people in the house, and so like the grocery shop is so much bigger than when I was like living on my own. Let me know if you'd like to see like a grocery haul for my whole family, because when I was doing like the little montage, I thought maybe it could be interesting if I show you guys what we actually get for a week as a family of six, because it is quite different. But my parents are out tonight, so it's just me and Lily at home, I think, and we decided to make some ravioli for dinner, because honestly, it's like 7 p.m. and I really can't be bothered to make anything too fancy. So ravioli isn't the most nutritious dinner when you just have it on its own because it's just pasta with like spinach and ricotta in it, but it does taste amazing. So what I'm gonna do is just chop up a bunch of vegetables and then add some pasta sauce to the ravioli and then like I'll get a little bit of nutrition in it. So yeah, I'm keen for that and it'll be really easy. Then I can have a chilled night. I think Lily and I might watch a movie I don't know, I'm trying to convince her because we watched a Christmas movie the other night together and it was so nice. So I kind of wouldn't mind doing that again if she's up for it. Because I'm trying to be time efficient, I'm just literally gonna pop all of the veggies in a bowl and put them in the microwave just so they warm up. And so the spinach sautés and stuff. And then I feel like it'll be really nice to mix in with the sauce and the pasta. Yeah, I'm keen. Also, if you're wondering, the call went really well. It was from like 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. So it was a long time to look at a screen, but it was really interesting. And that is my dinner. It looks so good and was literally so easy. I'm gonna go to bed now and have an early night and get a good start to the week. I ended up watching This Is 40 with my mom when she got home. Although it was a really long movie, so I didn't finish it. But yeah, it was a nice way to end off our weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little weekend in my life. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!